Hello everyone, this is Warren here from Macworld Media, and I am here to show you how to make a metallic looking text in Sony Vegas. This should look pretty good. I think it's pretty much doable in all the versions, as long as you have bump map in your video effects and uh, just basic text. First, I go to legacy text and I take a default text and I put it on the text layer and I get rid of sample text. A lot of text, text, text there. And we'll call it uh, something that looks cool when it's all bolded and metallic. How about we call it like war zone? Oh my God, I fail text that fail typed. Oh my God, text is just flowing through the veins. Now we find like a kind of a bold font. Uh, a kind of a, a go-to is impact. I use this for my, um, uh, my thumbnails a lot. And now, uh, this is sort of our first step because we got our word in the text we like. And uh, yeah, so that's first step. Then I like to take a, uh, well, there's kind of a, a second part to this, sort of a advanced step that I'm going to take, which means I'm going to put a background on it. And I'll show you why in a sec. So what kind should I do? Maybe a color gradient and it'll, it'll just be uh, this one here, this sort of vignette looking thing. You gotta make sure we have enough uh, video tracks. Then we're gonna put this above that. Ooh, voice crack. It's actually kind of a major voice crack, so my bad. And I'm just gonna darken it up like that. All right, so we had this cool, uh, and actually it's kind of cool by itself, but uh, we're gonna make it look way better. And the first thing we're gonna do is uh, put, well, go to this little green button here, and we're gonna put an outline around it, and we're gonna make it black. Then we're going to turn on, turn down the feathering all the way and go to about size like 27, I guess. I'll look at 25 just to make it all rounded off and nice. Uh, then we're going to put a shadow on it. Then we're going to go to uh, video effects and we're going to go to bump map. And in bump map, we're going to go to spotlight and we're going to put it on the text. And as you can see, that gives it kind of like a shiny uh, look kind of like this silvery look. Then I'm going to actually, well, you can do a dead center if you want, just from this tutorial sake, you can do however you like, but uh, I'm going to just slant it and uh, make the focus not so uh, small. Then I'm going to maybe actually up the intensity, turn down the focus a little bit. And we've kind of added a virtual light to it, but it also gives it kind of a cool uh, metallic kind of shiny silver look and that is sort of the one way you can do it the reason I put this background on here that you can see if I get rid of it it kind of gets rid of the outline and the uh, shadow and that kind of I think adds to it another thing you can do uh, this won't look good all the time kind of depends on what text you're using but you can actually up the bump height a little bit and actually give it some texture and as you can see this is like without and then with and you can like move the light around so it makes um, the shadow affect it differently. You know what? I'm going to put the light on top. And I'm going to move it kind of like this. And you can see, looks pretty sweet. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, please give it a like. And uh, if you know someone who might appreciate Sony Vegas tutorials, uh, just share the channel. Macware Media 2 is my second channel. I have a main channel called Macware Media where I do short films and all that fun stuff. Thank you. And you can tweet me at Macware Media or W Givers, or you can uh, go to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Macware Media. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.